Keith Faz helped kill a 90s probe into the Greville Janna claims. Why is he silent now? Keith Faz. This story from The Guardian was published in April 2015. And we can honestly see why Keith Faz, the right honourable Keith Faz, is so keen to help his friend Lord Janna. Obviously, Lord Janna, being a powerful member of the Zionist establishment, could not be uh, uh, outed as a serial molester of boys. Um, but it seems as if there may have been self-interest in uh, Keith Vaz uh, in, in uh, assisting Sir Greville avoid uh, investigation, because Keith Vaz was obviously the type of man who did similar things himself. Okay. Um, there's quite a lot of sleaze in, well, there's a, a lot of sleaze in not just Sir Greville, but also in Keith Vaz's life. It really does make you wonder how the political establishment allows such creeps to attain high office, right? This guy is a creep. Even, even the Daily, the Guardian, which is a, a, a fake or newspaper, even they realised that something was wrong. He helped kill a 90s probe into the Greville Janna claims. The MP was among those who support for Lord Janna, but Vaz didn't admit his error. And now, of course, Corbyn is coming to the help of, um, of, uh, of, uh, of Keith Vaz and pretending that this is some sort of private issue, even though, of course, Sir Keith Vaz chairs a very influential Home Office committee, which would make him prime target for blackmail attempts. It's also quite interesting that Sir Keith, uh, that uh, Keith Faz uses EU rent boys uh, when he has taken such a passionate interest in the EU and how he strongly supports it, like a lot of elitist bastards. Okay. Uh, also, Keith Faz led uh, uh, 3,000 Muslims, um, even though Faz is supposed to be a Christian. He, he, he led a march of several thousand Muslims in Leicester, calling for Salman Rushdie's book to be banned. Oh, what a load of rubbish. Just goes to show the man he, he is. He also attempted to get the Hinduja's passports, along with Peter Mandelson, a notorious Zionist. Um, charitable donations, Tony Blair. Um, and also, of course, um, Vaz, was, Vaz has got a lot of sleaze in his background. Lot of sleaze. Um, chairman of the Home Office Select Committee. He was, he was nominated by Harriet Harman, who herself has got a very horrible track record. Disgusting. It's a revolving door. Um, all party parliamentary group on Fiji, Patrick Mercer, another crook. Um, typical, typical, typical. Um, loudspeaker used to 2015 elections. Um, it's a criminal offence that carries a penalty of up to £5,000. Of course, he wasn't charged. Only the little people get charged. Only the little people. Um, so, uh, if you look at um, Baz's history, he's obviously always been an incredibly sleazy man. Just in it for himself. A typical example. A typical example of a pro-EU politician. Um, with a very sleazy private life and with very, very dodgy finances. It's quite extraordinary how they want to cut benefits for people but allow people like him, who has a £2.1 million house, to purchase £400,000 flat, which he uses purely to entertain EU rent boys uh, with drugs parties. I congratulate the Sunday Mirror for, for exposing him. This is not a private matter. It is not a private matter. Mr. and Mrs. Vaz had employed an illegal immigrant as their nanny. He had been receiving gifts such as... Um, let me see Jeff Hoon. Hold on, there's something about... Jeff Hoon, another corrupt one. He supported the Iraq war. Hoon. Dear Keith, just a quick note to thank you for all your help during the period leading up to last Wednesday's vote. I wanted you to know how much I appreciated all your help. I trust that it will be appropriately rewarded. With thanks and best wishes, Jeff. Well... Is 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 uh, Keith still going to get his knighthood, or will he be elevated to the House of Lords? 
could he be our UK representative in the EU? Um, seeing as we're not going to be allowed to leave. Perhaps he could be ambassador to Washington. Or maybe he could get a job as a janitor at the Romanian embassy in Bucharest so he can indulge his passion for EU activities.